So really excited to try take out after like a billion years. Hello. I gotta say, both their burgers look very photogenic. Like it's very picturesque. Man, like beautiful burger. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today it's gonna be an ultimate cheese burger taste test. So the idea of the video is a very straightforward. I'm gonna be having cheeseburger from the most popular burger spots in town, and I'm gonna be ranking them in tier lists. So when it comes to choosing places, I chose the places which are like most popular for like gourmet burgers. We're not gonna be keeping like fast food chains like. BFC, KFC, Burger King, Harvey because I feel like they're in a different league. So the places that we're going to be trying usually do gourmet slash fast food burgers and are usually very popular when it comes to burgers. Places that we're going to be trying are American Burger, Farmhouse, Piala, Takeout, Mad Chef, Chilox, and Ricky's Burger. And the criteria that we're going to be using to judge these cheeseburgers are quality of the ingredients quality of the patty, the sauce and the toppings they use, and like the overall taste, like how everything just comes together. And again guys, this is gonna be based on my personal preference, what I like to have in my burgers. And one thing that has to be mentioned is that we're only gonna be tasting the cheeseburgers from these respective burger places. And I'm pretty sure you all know that the places that I just named, they have probably better burgers than their regular classic cheeseburger because that's like the most classic, the most basic one. So this is not like a ranking of the burger places. It's just gonna be the ranking of the cheeseburger that we're gonna be trying from these places. So I hope that's just clear. So like my other tier list videos, we're gonna be ranking them from S, A, B, C, D, where S is the best and D is the lowest. And it has to be said that the ranking might change as we keep on having more burgers, experiencing more flavors. Some might go up, some might go down, some might just remain on their spot. The first burger place that we're going to start with is American Burger because I feel like that's the OG place for a good, solid, straight, no bullshit burger. So we're gonna go there and have our first beef cheese burger of the day. Let's go. So we're here in our first place. Starting with the OG American Burger. So we're gonna start with the OG American Burger, one of the old school places to get a good no bullshit burger. And we picked up our cheese beef a burger. Oh, that's a Beef cheese burger, beef cheese burger. Cheese. Cheese beef burger, beef cheese burger. Just sorry. And it's still hot, so better to have it while it's hot. A lot of people like love American Burger because they have been doing it for a long time and it's a very classic take at a burger and on how a burger should be. I like the basic of the basic bun so, patty. Yeah, bun, patty, some shredded lettuce, sauce and there's a cheese here. I don't know if you can see it. This is the cheese and tomato. I think it's will be I love American Burger because they're like one of the first to do grilled burgers. Hello? Mm. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. It's nothing fancy, you know? It's nothing fancy, but it doesn't need to be fancy. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Patty is grilled super nicely. The sauce isn't too much. The toppings are nice. The bun's nice. Like everything is just working together. But what do you want? I mean, you take an A, D. It's not an S. It's an S for me. And again, just a disclaimer: as we eat more burgers throughout the day, our ratings might change for all the burgers. This is a S for me. Like American burger is an S for me. Yes. Amajun, I really like it, Bunny. Hi. Bunny, I really, really like it. I mean, definitely, it's probably not the best of the ingredients, quality-wise, but it's an S for me because I don't know, it just feels like an S. It is good, but S level. I mean, like, Achha, amar S quality, S might be different. Quality ingredients. Achha, Achha, quality I'm, price, I feel like I'm getting the good nah, quality. Taw, manne, if you put this as an S and Baki Amra Jigula Kabo, Ugula quality. Hey, we know Ode they are not the S. It's an old Jagai. I'm not the criteria set. I'm not the taste S. But I think A is a reasonable yeah, because I feel like you want to be a bash. 
because like it's not really a steer so now that i think mane there are lots of other things to consider right true like the quality of the ingredients quality of the ingredients joto hi things moja hoy true mane rasta belpuri hoto moja tar mane ki bolbo belpuri quality onek bhalo ash thik ache you might have a point so i think i just got too excited with the first burger in the video but yeah considering the quality of the ingredients i think It's an A tier. A, you you A. make some good points. Hey. So American burger, we agree. It's an hey. A tier. A, 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 tier. A tier, yeah, definitely an A tier. I got a little excited. I'm sorry. I'll try to control my emotions. So now we are on our way to farmhouse to pick up our burger, and they did not have a like a classic cheese burger on their menu, but we ordered their basic burger, which is the farmhouse. It doesn't come with cheese though. It's like a patty with some lettuce, onion, and like a chipotle, chipotle sauce. sauce. So that was the most basic. burger we could find there so we're going to be picking that up and having it in our car because we don't have time to sit and have we are on the go today so it's time for another burger and now it's time for farmhouse like i told you guys we went and picked up their farmhouse um they did not have a regular cheese burger like a regular beef cheese burger this was their most basic one and it doesn't come with cheese unfortunately it comes with like a chipotle sauce onions lettuce and a patty like this was the most simple one so i think this seemed more fair to the video so i've never had their uh, farmhouse burger before so let's see what the deal is so this look there's like tomato lettuce patty a very big juicy patty hopefully it's juicy let's try it on a kotha hoye jacche perfectly pink not good as the milena or the ricky bobby but it's good quality beef patty quality ingredients proper bun ranking wise farmers i'm going to give you but this is the a tier burger on its own but for this challenge i'm not sure if it is goes to an a tier so i'm just going to give it 8.5 Something. We are gonna put it between A and B. Yeah, like we're just gonna put it between A and B. But again, this is a good burger. But for this challenge, I think this goes to like A and B match kind of somewhere. So next, we are going to a place that I don't think many people are going to think is gonna be here. Yes, it's Piala because they came out with a lot of new burgers. I haven't tried them yet. They look nice. Let's hope they taste great. On to Piala. So we are here at Piala, and I've never tried their burgers before. and i'm really excited to try it because i do enjoy their other stuff so the two burgers we're going to have today is their umami burger and their classic cheeseburger classic cheeseburger because that's what we're comparing everything else with and the umami burger because it looked good and i didn't come here before i just thought of giving it a try why not so this is the competition the classic cheeseburger we took it in borrow so it comes with two patties cheese tomatoes lettuce and that in house bun with their special sauce let's start with the classic cheeseburger and this is a looker look at how good it looks two juicy patties big piece of tomatoes that lettuce and sauce it doesn't look overly saucy just how i prefer my burger All right, so I was a little skeptical, but this is a banger, man. Just look at the patties, so perfectly seasoned, not dry at all. Like it's really, it's for the lack of better word, very juicy. And I like how simple, like it's a classic burger, like noble chick burger, and it tastes great. Really, color me impressed. Super clean, nice bun, perfectly cooked patties, and. Like really good. I don't know how else to say it, and I wasn't expecting this. Maybe that's why I'm surprised. I don't know what I was expecting. So you can choose their major version, which comes with a single patty, or if you're feeling extra hungry, yeah, you can go for the borrow one and get the double patty. And this does not feel like it's just meat. Like the balance is really nice. I usually come to Piala for their wraps, and he has the salad bowls. I um, never thought of trying their burgers, and now that I have, I might try them more often. Honestly, in terms of ranking or tier list, I'm gonna have to put this on the S tier because I don't think I have anything to complain about. Because the criteria we're looking for, it just ticks all of them. Really excited to try their umami, but that has a lot of fancy stuff going on. But this is a classic. If you're looking for a clean burger that's gonna do the job, get this. 
So again, the umami burger is not a competitor. We just took it because I've never had their burgers before. It looked nice and I just wanted to try it. So the umami burger comes with crispy fried onions, mushroom, bacon, their special sauce, patty, and again, in-house made bun. I gotta say, both their burgers look very photogenic. Like it's very picturesque. Not a shundor burger. It looks very clean, very nice. Something you wanna bite. the patty look at how nicely it's cooked and this is more on the thicker side like those were like smashed and then you have like two patties this is like a chunky juicy patty and then there's the sauce and crispy onions I'm not a big crispy onion fan he loves it so if you're looking for something a bit more a bit more if you want a thick boy a little fancy boy you can go for the umami burger um, I definitely prefer the classic cheeseburger because it just like its name classic looks like yellow was a good choice to put in the burger battle especially the classic cheeseburger it was beautiful we already ranked their cheeseburger it's s tier material and our next stop is ricky's so let's go so we are gonna get the classic cheeseburger for our third burger compi so we're gonna get the classic cheeseburger of course from ricky's as well let's see how well ricky does so our burger is here this is their classic cheeseburger it comes with two smash patties cheese you get the cabbage and tomatoes and probably some house special sauce and it comes with brioche bun so a little story time i've had their rick roll before i ordered it at home and i loved it then i came here and i had it and i didn't like it so it was a bit un inconsistent so i don't know what i'm gonna get today but it smells really good looks fantastic so high hopes These are smashed burger, like smashed patties, so it's kind of a bit smoky, a bit burnt. Really like the addition of the cabbage. And it's super juicy, as you can see, right? Yep. I mean, like literally, the juice are falling off the burger. I mean, mm. literally falling. And off. the bun is very buttery and very soft. It's not too saucy. Like it's not very prominent flavor. Like the patty is still shining. I like it. Like I really like the burger, but I don't think it's S tier. I think I'll give this an A tier. Like it's pretty it's a pretty good smash burger it has a melting in your mouth feeling which i am quite enjoying I'm not gonna lie so after having ricky's and having an intense discussion with mr box this goes to a tier so now that we're done to ricky's our next stop is matchev so let's go so we are here at matchev to pick up the order we didn't go in and sit because there were some discounts going on while you pick up and we got more food at a cheaper price so why not we're gonna pick up our burger and probably have it in our car so we picked up our order from matchev we have their signature beef burger which is like a classic beef cheeseburger we took their potato brioche bun they have the garlic crusted one the potato one is the most basic one so we chose that and for house special sauce we chose the classic one again just keeping it very very classic regular basic speaking of match of burgers they recently launched a couple of new gourmet burgers i've tried them i really like them i have a video on them but that's for like i said in this video we're just trying the basic regular beef cheeseburger from all the places all the places have better burgers so yeah just getting it out of the way again sorry we're stuck in traffic summer traffic because the light's gonna go away anytime so this is their regular beef cheeseburger from Matcha with potato brioche bun and their regular house sauce. This is what it looks like. There is a patty, obviously. Patty don't make chodama? Hmm. I got the sauce for the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. Tastes better than it looks. Sauce so is pretty nice and mm. uh, sweet, tangy. It's sweet. The sweet sauce is a bit sweet, a bit tangy. The patty is nicely grilled. Uh, again, the burger patty is really good, Hindu. Mm, it's grilled very nicely. Toppings are simple, fresh, to the point. This is a good classic cheeseburger. Bun's burger. nice. I would not be sad if I got this. Yeah, I, I mean also I'm surprised. Mm. Like can I don't know. I mean, I didn't know match up. I wasn't expecting much. I like match up burgers. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to eat. Because it's a bun quality is better. Actually, true. Yeah, better. Yeah, meter quality. The quality. patty quality. I was being too harsh. It is a A tier one because the quality of the patty is really good and the bun is honestly better. Uh, so this goes to an A tier. So match shift classic beef cheeseburger goes to an A tier. Yeah. 
It's a okay. burger. So next we're gonna be having chillox and takeout. So we're gonna pick up chillox right now and then takeout's gonna be home delivery and we're going to try those two together. So on to the next one. So we are back home and we're gonna try chillox and takeout now. But before that, remember how we told at the beginning of the video that the ratings of some burgers might change as we keep on having more burgers because you know our opinion might change when we have another burger and it seems better than the one that we already rated. That just happened. So I'm gonna be swapping matchup to Estier. The bun and the overall quality of the burger was better in matchup. I have to agree. Overall, matcha deserves S tier. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to Chillox and Takeout. Our last two burgers, again, we ordered their classic beef cheese burger because we're sticking with the classic ones. You've heard it multiple times in the video. All the places that we've tried have better burgers that they can offer you. But for this particular video, we are only comparing the classic beef cheese burger. So we got both the burgers here. This is the beef cheese burger from Takeout and then this is the beef cheese burger from Chillox. Gonna start with Takeout because I haven't had Takeout in over like three years. Yes, three years. So really excited to try Takeout after like a billion years. If this turns out to be good, I'm probably gonna go and try their beef cheese do that again because I don't know, I feel like I need to try Takeout again. So this is their beef cheese burger. This is what it looks like. Cheese, you get the patty, lettuce, sauce. Onion, tomatoes, regular toppings. Mm. So right off the bat, you could taste the filler in their patty. Uh, like you know, patty chop chop makes not 100% beef in all the places, even if they claim to be. And you can definitely taste the difference of it just being like beef beef and beef with some fillers. Nothing's wrong with having fillers, but I definitely prefer a more meatier bite, a more beefier bite. And other than that, everything is pretty good normal basic basic cheeseburger this would go to the b tier it's all right when it, it was the, all right the other stuff was pretty yeah. good it's just the beef the yeah. quality of the beef, beef. Is and the patty is the star of the burger man you cannot yeah. have your star be filled with other shit <laughs> so yeah this goes to a b tier take out beef cheeseburger b tier finally last but not the least chillox the sauce people <laughs> so I <laughs> I chose everything regular, sauce level leg like regular, I didn't choose less or too much. Everything was just regular. Um, and I chose their key bun chilo jenny sesame bun. I chose their sesame bun. Already there's a lot of sauce here, but hey man, they embrace their sauciness. This is the beef cheeseburger from Chilox. This is what it looks like. Patty Dakarichek. So again, there's a the cheese, sauce, tomato, lettuce, onion, all that basic shazam. Let's take a bite. Mm. So when the blindfold for this, would you able be able to recognize which one's takeout, which one's chillox? I wouldn't be able they to. They taste super similar. They taste very similar. Chilox. In chillox, they have a bit more sauce than takeout, but other than that, they taste identical, man. If I was blindfolded, I wouldn't know which one's takeout. Which one chillox and like takeout, you can taste the filler in their patty. Everything's A alright. Like it's A okay. So it's gonna be again in the B tier. Honestly, it tastes exactly like takeout, just with a bit more sauce. So guys, we have come to the end of our video. Ultimate cheese burger taste test, and we ranked all the burgers we tried into a tier system. Here is a little recap. So let's start from the B tier. Takeout and Chillox were in the B tier. And we had the farmhouse, farmhouse burger in between A and B because we couldn't decide where it would be. In A tier, we had Ricky's classic beef cheese burger and American Burger's beef cheese burger. In S tier, to my surprise, and probably to everyone's surprise, we had Piala's beef cheese burger because that was Chef's kiss, man. Everything was more or less perfect. Yeah. Right? And also joining Piala in S tier was again a surprise contender, Mad Chef, because their patty, bun, toppings, everything was. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have tried burgers from all these places do let me know what your ranking would be and which one is your favorite burger place. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!